Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here to share scripture with you. Sometimes I want to say this. Sometimes God will echo your heart's cry. Whether you've spoken it or just felt it, he will echo your heart's cry to let you know how aware he is of what you are going through. And this is a scripture I believe that he has sent to share with you, to let you know, I know what you're going through. You're not alone. I'm with you in this thing. I will not leave you nor forsake you. And here is the word, Psalms chapter 27, starting from verse 8 to 14. Excuse me. When thou said, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say. On the Lord. Well, sometimes that's difficult. Now we're going into Pat's two cents. Sometimes that's difficult to wait on the Lord, isn't it? Sometimes we feel like, well, what are you doing? Well, where are you in all this mess? I'm the one facing this battle. What are you doing? And we get frustrated. And we don't always admit that we're frustrated with God because it seems like he's doing nothing. But there are times that nothing and silence and stillness is where he wants you to remain. He doesn't want you opening, his, opening your mouth. He doesn't want you taking action or reacting. You know that gets pretty ugly. You know. You know how ugly you and I can get. I know how ugly I can get, how ugly can you get? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows that. He knows we can take a difficult situation and turn it into a disaster with our attitudes, our tongues, our actions. So we have to be careful when we're going through. You have to be careful. When you're going through, I have to be careful when I'm going through. We have to guard our hearts and keep our mouths. I am so serious. Listen, when you're going through a trial, you're going through a situation, there are times when you need to be quiet because while you're going through, God is extending his mercies and he will grant you favor merciful favor with some of the people you're dealing with if you silence yourself, as Archie Bunker used to say. <laughs> Not clam it up. How did he used to say that? Stifle it either. Sometimes we have to stifle, shut up, because God can handle it. God will be our defense. Sometimes in your silence is your favor. With your mouth shut, God can show you his favor. He can show you what he can do when you're still quiet, patiently waiting, and trusting in God. It's hard. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I know it's hard. I've often wanted to tell the Lord, no, 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 I'm not going that way. No, I, I don't like that route. I don't like that street. You know, I want to go another way. I want to go an easy route. I'm tired of that thing messing with me. And God knows you're tired. 
but he knows you're not tired enough. See, God works in purpose. Now, that's what he does with salmon when they're swimming upstream. Now, why would he make an instinct in salmon to all swim upstream when it's ready for them to, to, uh, to, to, to make the little baby salmon? Why does he do that? Why must they swim upstream? It's a mystery. It's a mystery. I'm not going to claim to be a scientist that knows all the answers, but I bet some of it is so that they will have strength to lay eggs and fertilize their eggs. I bet you that's part of it. They'll have the strength to do it. They have to do it at a, in a particular place at a particular time. But I tell you this, they know they're supposed to do it and they do it every time. Now, sometimes we don't know what we're supposed to do. But when we stay wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in the Lord, instinct will begin to lead us. And that instinct is the Holy Spirit. And when he leads and guides us, there will come times when you get ready to open your mouth and you don't really have much to say, but you know what will come out if you speak would be really stupid and damaging. At those moments, you quietly ask God in your mind, in your heart, God, help me keep my mouth shut and trust in you so I don't make a difficult situation a disaster. Yeah, we can all do that, can't we? So, Trust in God. Wait on him. Be of good courage. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to get the job done. Did you ever hear the story about Moses in Genesis? Excuse me, in Exodus. Moses, this is the book of Exodus. He was being uh, challenged by uh, Nathan and Abiram. I always get those names kind of mixed up as far as pronunciation, but Here's the point. They rose up against him and he said, you know, you think too much or you, you take too much on yourself. You think you all that in a bag of chips. You, know, you ain't the only one who can hear from God. What makes you so high and mighty? What makes you the chosen one to lead us? Maybe somebody else can lead us a better route. This one is crazy in the middle of the desert and lost your mind. That's everyday language, okay? Just allow me the liberty, okay? Now, Moses did not open his mouth to defend himself. You know what Moses did? He said, we'll let God settle this. I'll meet you tomorrow at, at 3 p.m. You know how you say, I'll, I'll see you after school at 3 in the schoolyard. And we're going to see who's who's who when we get through tangoing. Well, he said, you and God are going to tango. I'm going to step aside and let the Lord fight my battles. Do you hear me? And what he did, he stepped aside, called on the Lord. And he said, now let the Lord settle this because I'm not even going to waste my time arguing with you. The Lord sent, he swallowed up Nathan and Abiram and all their little cohorts. It swallowed them up, opened the earth up. You talk about a sinkhole? Oh, baby, this was a mass grave. Close it up on them. Swallowed them up in the earth. And he sent fire to burn up those behinds of those priests that were on his side, fighting Moses. Moses did not lift a finger. Moses did not come to his own defense. Moses did not turn tail and run. He stood his ground. The scripture in Psalms 46, be still and know that I am God. That's what Moses did. He stood still and watched God do his thing. 
on Moses' behalf in Moses' defense. And Moses didn't have to lift a finger. He just stood there and won a battle by God's strength, by God's hand, by God's word. Oh, yeah. God knows how to fight for you, you guys. God knows what he's doing. So don't think you're in it alone. You got the best, <laughs> you got the best ammo, the best, uh, oh, oh, oh boy, I'm trying to think. The most powerful weapon on your side. Pray to God in the name of the Son. Ask God for his peace. Ask God to lead you to scripture. He will talk to you. He will calm you while you're in the middle of it. Ask God to strengthen you on the inner man. Strengthen you for the battle. You may have to go through. He may not take you around. He may take you through that mountain. But God knows how to burrow a hole drill a hole in a tunnel and you will walk through safely. You may get a few rocks in your feet. You may get a little sand in there. may get a little uncomfortable. You may even trip and skin your knee. But guess what? You'll come out unscathed if you do it trusting God. You hear me? Trust in the Lord. Be of good courage. He shall strengthen thine heart. Trust in the Lord. Mm, mm, mm. There's a song that says, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait, I say, on the Lord. We must wait, wait, wait on the Lord. We must wait, wait, wait on the Lord. We must learn our lessons well. In his timing, he will tell us what to do, where to go, what to say. Wait on the Lord. And you're in good hands, baby. Amen.